to the sunny side we're remodeling this dysfunctional bathroom and sharing all the good bad and ugly along the way my name is stephanie and this is my mom michelle and every week we love sharing simple ways you can create a home you love on a budget but this video is a little different because we're sharing weeks and weeks of work on this bathroom reno all packed into one video and in case you didn't know, this is the second video in our giveaway. We're giving away a $150 gift card to the Home Depot to help you out with your next project. So in order to enter the giveaway, make sure to watch the entire video so you know what to do to enter on this video. Part of this giveaway is you have to watch all three videos. So the first one is all the demo for this bathroom. The second one is the one you are watching and we're putting this bathroom back together by adding more functionality and style to this space. And next Thursday, make sure you watch that video so you know how to enter. All right, guys, let's get working. It's episode two and we've run into a little bit of a problem. <laughs> it's hard to <laughs> You know, it's okay. But it was a problem that I thought maybe we would run into because you never know if you go down in the basement and you're looking to see where those floor joists run, you're hoping it's not going to be where your plumbing is. But yeah. guess what? <laughs> it's exactly where my Shane, Shane, shower drain, that's the word, needs to go. And so what do you do? I was like, no. And not only is it the shower drain, it's the toilet drain that would be like cutting the floor joist right in half that can't you can't do that not so much so let me show you our solution and I think it's gonna be okay it's gonna work I was really worried because the space is tight and, I, and I've already purchased my bathtub I've already purchased a base for my shower so it's all got to fit in the space all right so let's take a look at the shower base first it's got it's a prefab shower base um, because I didn't want to have to deal with building one out of mortar and getting the slope correct and all of that it just stressed me out so I got a prefab base and it I couldn't get one with a center drain for the size I needed so there is only one location for that drain and when we cut through the floor last night just to kind of get it a sneak peek before the plumber gets here to do everything um, yeah it was the floor just is right smack dab in where <laughs> we need the uh, drain to go and the same with the toilet so we started doing some measurements and we figured that if we just moved the wall and we're not going to move the wall we're going to add to the wall instead three and a half inches just the width of a two by four or the yeah the width of a two by four we will still have room for the shower we'll still have room for the bathtub and it's all going to work and we don't have to worry about those floor joists and all of that. So it's all going to work. So now we can move forward, frame up the wall, and then we can get going on our rough plumbing. And that's just how rentals go, right? You're always going to run into little surprises. Absolutely. And, you know, luckily, this is fixable. I think everything is. is fixable, but that's pretty easy solution. So. Well, and my husband's the one who pointed out this problem last night and he he was measuring the wrong amount for my bathtub and I'm like well my bathtub won't fit so what are we going to do you were having a freak out a little bit <laughs> it's okay but he was measuring for the wrong bathtub so we're good we're good Okay, we have the wall behind me. We have framed it out a little bit further to take care of our drain issue on the floor. And we've hired out the electrical 
and um, some of the plumbing parts, um, the rough plumbing. And so that some of that has been done. And we are ready to install the shower pan. Hey guys, I have been flat in bed the last three days sick while my mom's been laying awake at night dreaming more ideas for this bathroom, making more work for us. <laughs> so the rental must go on. Here I am, ready to work. All right, today's the day we're going to actually put some drywall up and start putting this room more together. But I've been thinking, <laughs> that's what happens when you come in here and you wander around and you look a little bit. And since we had to build this wall out, um, the width of a two by four, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to put like some built-in shelves into this wall. So now that we built this, we're gonna cut into it and make a section here that will be open where we can build some shelves in here and just kind of add a little bit of style to this room besides just a white wall. just made a mistake. So my holes and everything are great if the board is going on the ceiling, the drywall, going up just like this. But if it goes up just like this, then the green side is not towards the bathroom, towards the moisture, which is where it's supposed to be. So <laughs> we're going to flip it over and cut out a hole and just patch that hole back up because we're going to cover it with shiplap. So It'll be fine. It's just one little mistake, right? <laughs> We let my dad come in and help us hold this one into place so we could get it all secured. I don't know how those pros do it themselves. They are heavy sons of guns, but you know what? We did it. Goodness for a new day. Yesterday was tough. Steph was sick, has been sick for several days. So thank goodness she feels better today. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> but I worked so hard. We worked so hard as much as she could. 
and we just didn't get much done. And then we ran into, well, we kind of called it quits for the day and she went home to feed kids and be done. And I decided to keep working and I worked till nine o'clock last night and I was exhausted and I had my husband helping me because there's just, those drywall pieces are so heavy and so hard to do on your own. But <laughs> in the process, we did not finish, as you can see. <laughs> We're going to show you a little We ran into a little bit thing. of a problem with this piece of drywall here. And the original wall came to right here. And then we had the wall for the closet. And the issue was this piece of drywall, where it ended, was not secured to anything. And so we went to secure it before we put a new piece in here. But there was nothing. So we decided we needed to just take down the whole piece to the doorway and then we'll just have one big piece. But in the process, we had to get a new electrical box put in and just so much to do. But now we are ready to finish this drywall today. All right, we finally have the drywall finished, so good. it does feel <laughs> good. To the next project. All right, we're gonna work on the ceiling. We're gonna put shiplap up there just for a little added texture. Plus, it's gonna hide all of the patchy work <laughs> that we had to do. And don't worry, the shiplap was designed before we made boo boos. Well, it, it, it totally was. I was actually gonna do beadboard. But do you, want me, do you want to know how much expensive it was to do beadboard that was tongue and groove? For this ceiling, a bathroom, it was about 100 square feet. It was going to be $3,800 for wood. And if I didn't get wood, it was like $2,300. So guess what? We're doing chip up because it's cheaper. Yeah. I'm doing my whole ceiling for $250. So this is like the first fun design element that we're actually getting to in this yeah, room rather I'm than like building it and putting it back together. So this is fun. Yeah, we're excited. Bit of a problem here because this first row this isn't matching up because it's rocking back and forth the wall is not straight that it's leaning against and so in order to get that flush it's going to be like an inch out of the other side so my idea is to mark where it's hitting it's hitting right here so i'm just going to come here and mark a pencil mark those are between that area it's hitting so we'll just Scoop out a little bit of that because it can always be caulked when you're done anyway. And we're adding crown molding, which is going to hide it. We're going to add crown, so we're not going to worry about that. In the kingdom keys, gilded lines on gilded strings, we'll give them a show. Now, cause 
Okay, we have the shiplap ceiling all installed. We puttied all of the nail holes and sanded those. And so now I'm just going to take a mop and kind of just dust off all the dust and get ready to paint it so we can move on to the next project. Now we're gonna move on to framing out the shower niche. And we do have um, guided tutorials for all of these projects we're doing here in this bathroom reno on our website. So if you wanna check any of those out, just tap the links down below. What are we, day 562? <laughs> Who knows, just, just kind of lost count. It seems like we are slow with the progress. But we're making progress. We are. So today is, our goal is to get this shower wall, tub wall, at least get the cement board up so we can get ready for tiling. And you can tell my voice I'm tired, huh? Yeah. Long days. <laughs> they are long nights. days. But we have got two coats of mud up on the walls so we probably have at least one or two more before those are good and ready enough for ready for paint but we're making progress yep room put back together and we made some good progress yesterday. We have all of the cement board installed, the backer board. We taped and applied the mortar to all of the seams and we have the niche all ready to go. And so today I'm just going to be applying the waterproofing membrane. Yesterday we were supposed to have tiled at least the shower niche and get started on the tiling on this wall behind me. And I've run into another little bit of a problem. Okay, so this black tile is what I'm going to use for the shower walls and I just love it. And this is the sample tile that I had picked up from Floor and Decor. It is a natural stone, it's marble, career marble, and I love that it's mostly white with a little gray veining and the black. This is the only shades of tile. This was my sample that I picked up a couple of months ago and this is all they had left now is this gray 
And look, it, there's hardly any white in the tile. I went ahead and purchased what I needed and now I'm regretting it. And so I just couldn't even install them yesterday. So I'm off to the store. To, I have to go to another floor and decor. I went through every box that they had trying to find white. Wish me luck. I just love this. I love the way it turned out. It's just, I love marble. It just makes me feel like I'm being a little luxurious and making my space special. So are you glad you drove down? Oh, it was so worth the 60 minute drive. I had 30 minutes down, 30 minutes back to go to this floor and decor to get my tile. And it was so worth it and to be a day behind. <laughs> okay, we've got our tile all cut, and in between tile, cutting tile and installing tile. I had to go get my nails done. So now, yeah. it, it is what it is, I know. I'm gonna glove up because they're not gonna get messed up now, but we're gonna install it. I'm so excited to see this it's happening. It's gonna be gorgeous. And now we're ready to finally tackle the wall. Enough? Yes. <laughs> we're on day two of tile. We got a lot done yesterday. Oh. We worked till about 10 o'clock at night and we're just tired and well, we are tired. We, we, we are. <laughs> We're, I hope we can finish today. Yeah, I'm hopeful too. <laughs> hope we got, you know, most of it up, really. Um, I want to say maybe a little more than half. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have plenty to do. And well, we didn't get much done on day two. Dang it. This is my time. Today I'm ready to get back at tiling. I just had to take a break from it. I was exhausted. We had two very late nights working on the tile and working till 10 o'clock at night and we were just exhausted. And so today I'm gonna get back in it. Steph can't join and help me. So I'm going to enlist my husband to help me so we can finish the wall over here and get this tiling wrapped up. I'm on the ride. All right, guys, this bathroom, of course, has been a major work in progress, but we are making progress. We've got some pretty stuff up behind us now. <laughs> we do. I'm excited. <laughs> and today we are going to grout this beautiful accent wall. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Seven. Now it's about time that I take my six, five, king of the jungle, heart of a line, four, three, two, one, watch out, here I come, this is my time, I'm on the rise, can't hold me down, I'm too fly, this is my time, ready to shine, brighter than all of the lights, cause when it's game time, seconds away and the game's on the line, there ain't no doubt in my mind. Okay, 
The walls are primed and now I'm ready to get a coat of paint on. I have had the hardest time picking paint color for this room. I mean, overall I want black and white, but I've got that color that's in my drapery fabric that will be coming in here. And there was a really pretty kind of a very light sagey green color. And I thought I would pick up on that color and paint my walls that color. And so I, I got two different colors of green. I got this one and I got this one. I don't like them at all. And I didn't really want to go too dark, so green is out. Okay, then I picked up some whites. I, I went with maybe more of a creamy white. So I picked up this one here, which would be fine. It has a little bit of yellow undertones, and I'm not a big fan of yellow undertones in my white paint. So I'm going with this one. And this one is called Ascetic. And it's a Sherwin Williams color, and I'm ready to paint it and make this room look great. All right, I started to roll the wall, and I was getting little fuzzies off of the roller. And I have really never had it happen to me so much as it did this time. So I'm be I get got a new roller. I kept thinking, oh, it's got to stop, but it's not. So I'm just gonna wrap it with tape and pull off the fuzzies before I roll it in paint and see if that helps. Okay, I pulled off some, so I hope that that makes a difference and I don't get little cooties in my wall paint. Very big day, Pascal. Ten points <laughs> if you know that movie reference. <laughs> she won't. I do too. I know that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'll leave it at that. Okay. But yeah, today we got the wall done. Woo! We're ready to install flooring. This bathroom's coming together. Yeah, I'm so excited to have something down here. So can't wait to show you. Today we're going to work on this bathroom niche, so we're going to head to the store and grab some wood.
another day of work and our goal for today is moldings. Door casings, headers, baseboards, crown molding. All the molding. <laughs> you name it, we're trying to the do this today. I realized I haven't really done much scanning in between our projects to show you where we are. So this is real life reno. <laughs> it's a mess everywhere. We did get all of the crown molding cut the other day. We're just going to install that today. Um, but yeah, we got all the base installed and caulked, all the casings installed and caulked. Cutting the crown just took a little bit of time because, you know, we're not pros, but this is a look at the progress. We've definitely come a long way from where we started. anxious this morning. <laughs> we're, we're doing something that I personally haven't done by myself. Me neither. <laughs> We've done a lot of that though. I, We've I, been learning I, a I lot. I know, I know. Usually my husband is here helping do the crown molding and I might call a paint and whatever, but he's the one fixing those corners together. Today it's on us. It, it is. So <laughs> cross our fingers. We got it all cut. We're ready to go. Yeah. We've watched videos. We're going to try a method from a professional, so we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so my mom is actually super anxious about installing the crown today. Uh, you know, we are prone to making mistakes because we've learned everything we've done by trial and error. But we always make it work and we always fix it. But this would be a costly mistake and we don't have time. <laughs> we just don't have time for this because we are on a strict timeline. So please wish us luck. I can see you down again, falling to the ground again. I feel you. Try to fight it on you. I'll help you light your fire. I'll take your hand, raise you up higher. You can dance. We're making good progress and you know what? It's not perfect, but it is looking pretty good and caulk is gonna make it look all the better. So haven't quite installed that edge yet because we're gonna wait till this board gets up there better. And we did learn that this board is actually cut too short. So we're having a break, <laughs> moving to something we're comfortable with, right mama? Yeah. We're, we're going to install that little niche shelf area and that's, that's going to be butter. Yeah, we know how to do this. Uh, there was an incident here in the household. 
new can of paint fell and wabam not good on the rug oh dear let's hear that sigh mama because <laughs> we're not busy enough yeah, I'm I tracked it out, evidently. Oh, dear. Here coming out. Hmm. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh Have you guys had this happen before? I wish it wasn't on carpet. Yeah. I was just trying to put some stuff away because we're in such a mess. Yeah. I just want to say this is harder to clean up than I thought. I. It's really only been maybe five minutes, if that. And it's not coming up. It's stuck to the tile. And this tile is sealed. Ay, ay, ay. We were making good progress today, guys. We thought we had some extra time. Yeah, not anymore. Okay, guys, you've all been waiting for this. It's giveaway time. This is how you enter. So first, you're going to go to at to the sunny side Instagram and you're going to tag two of your friends on this post. This post talks about the giveaway and how you can win a gift card to the Home Depot. This is the post you're looking for. Then you're going to tag two friends on that post. Then you're going to head back over to YouTube and comment hashtag to the sunny side reno and then you're going to share with us your favorite go-to tool for all your DIY projects. We're curious to see what tools make your life easier and if some of our faves match some of yours. Now you want to make sure that you watch all three videos so you can be eligible to win. So this video is number two. Be sure you're watching next Thursday for video number three. Moving on, the vanity has been installed and we're ready to keep working. Hey, today we're going to start in start we're gonna do the backsplash it's yeah, not right. a start that's right. it's a complete and it's gonna be done, like that. done. Yeah. <laughs> but for those of you who have come over from instagram thanks for voting for the tile options and ultimately this is what i chose to do this is my carrera black and white basket weave that i love and i think it's a great classic pattern that's always going to be in style yes. You can do That's it for this episode. Be sure to come back next week for episode three, which is the complete bathroom reveal. Okay guys, thanks for stopping by and just a reminder, empowering you to create a home you love. We'll see you next time. Bye.